everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artist Empire here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, I have another amazing design by Steve Good, and it's going to be another miniature diorama. You guys remember a few weeks back, we made the little miniature sailboat diorama that sat in its cradle. This project is of the same style. I've already got the pattern printed out to its full size and attached to our material with clear packing tape, and it's going to be a diorama of the NASA spaceship. Now, the NASA spaceship is very iconic from the moon landing, from the various missions that it's went on. There's several of them in museums that you can go and tour, so really, really cool. The pattern entirely calls for one quarter inch material, and I've got all that prepped here except for the base, which, like with the sailboat diorama, I'm going to make it a little bit thicker and bulkier for more stability when it sits on a shelf or countertop. This is going to be a several part project, so with projects like this, I've always got a picture of the finished project saved on my cell phone, so when we go to the glue up, but there you see the wings and then the base that this is going to attach to here to that thicker piece of material and it's going to look like the spaceship is blasting off and I've got everything lined up. I think grain direction plays a huge part in this project. You can see the body and it's going to layer together and make a nice 3D image. Now the base of the rocket here that will be slotted into everything is the biggest piece of the pattern and it was part of a two page pattern so I just cut it and attached it there and lined it up as best I could. Since everything is prepared and again it's a very multi-part project and there's very little internal cuts on this let's hop over to the drill press drill the few pilot holes we do need so we can come back to the scroll saw and start scrolling and over here on the drill press we're gonna drill out all of the pilot holes for internal cutting not very many in this project but then we will head over to the scroll saw and begin by cutting out all of the slots for the tabs and quickly test fitting those with a scrap piece of the same quarter inch material before continuing on with the rest of the cuts and cutting out the project. I am using a number five ultra reverse tooth blade for all of the cutting on this project and they will cut through all the variety of materials exceptionally well. That includes the single layers of quarter inch material here as well as the stacked layers of quarter inch material and the three quarter inch material for the base. Everything will be cut out with the same blade. If you guys would like to try this pattern, it is available as a free pattern download over at Steve Goods scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com website over in his free pattern catalog. As soon as I seen him upload this pattern, I knowed I would have to at some point make it for my friend down at the beach who is a huge space fan and just tracks the stars and the rockets when they go up and just loves the history of space exploration. So I was happy to make this for him. And there is some small parts on this project. I'm just doing my best to keep up with them and setting them aside as I cut them out. That is why I like having the L-shaped workbench here to where I can just set pieces aside. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on all of my social medias under the Artisan Pirate name, linked down in the description box below. I'd really appreciate the support. And there is some tight right angles in this project. And as always, I am taking my time and letting the blade do the work. But I want those right angles to be nice and crisp as possible. And now we will cut out the base, which is three quarter inch thick. And you guys seen all of the scrolling on this project, which is rare. I usually break it up a little bit. But once all of the scrolling is done, we will remove all of the pieces from the waste wood and get ready for sanding. And I will sand all of the bigger pieces with the palm sander and 180 grit sandpaper and then we will sand the smaller pieces by hand. I'll give the base a slight round over with the sandpaper here and then proceed to sand the front and back of all of the pieces. And once all of the sanding is done, we can begin the assembly. You see me doing the final sanding here on the smallest parts. And for assembly, I began with the base so I could set it aside. And I'm using medium grade CA glue and activator here. And just wanting to make sure everything is glued up and cured. Then we can proceed to gluing up the actual spaceship 
and with a multi-part project like this I always have a picture saved on my phone just as a visual guide and I will glue up the spaceship here in sections just to make sure all of the glue is cured properly again using that photo as a visual guide and I'm using the spring clamps to help just hold everything together while making sure the CA glue is cured everything is starting to come together and I love these dioramas that Steve has started to make like the sailboat we made earlier in the year now we will glue the spaceship on the rockets and I'll set everything aside to dry for around five minutes before spray painting the base with a glossy black here and we will leave it to dry and proceed to staining the rocket ship with some Minmax wood stain and making sure everything is saturated before wiping off all of the excess with a piece of t-shirt material and obviously you could paint this project if you wanted and we will set everything to dry for a couple hours before finally gluing the rocket ship to the base on that tab we cut out and everything fit nice and snugly and after that dried it was time to finish it with several coats of rust-oleum clear gloss and once that dried the project was complete and here we have the completed rocket ship cut out completely on the scroll saw once again showing the scroll saw's unique versatility for not only making two-dimensional pieces but it can also make amazing 3D pieces just like this taking it into the third dimension the rocket ship is poised and ready to blast off into an amazing adventure out in outer space thank you Steve Good for another amazing design from your pattern catalog this is one of his newest offerings from 2023 it took me around 15 minutes to scroll everything out and you guys seen the whole scrolling process from start to finish I normally don't show that because I like to break it up to where it does not bore you guys my viewing audience and it's not a very complicated pattern it's just with some of the pieces being slotted and tab like the tail the base and then the tab that holds the rocket to the bracket you need to be as loyal as you can to your cut line to make sure everything lines up in the end and indeed it did in this project I just took my time and let the blade do the work and just like the little boat diorama we done earlier in the year which is also a Steve Good design I painted the bracket and the base here black because the rocket ship is the standout feature here one thing I did do differently is I glued the ship to the bracket here the rocket ship that is because I think it can be freestanding and just float in that bracket the way this is designed it's not on a severe angle it's just that like with the boat I had it where the boat could be picked up and passed around if you wanted to take the ship off the bracket and pass it around I think repeated times of doing that and removing it from the bracket that slot and that tab would just wear out over time so you guys seen on film that I did glue it home and it's one solid piece now and I just use Minwax wood stain to stain the rocket ship here and it came out great I love how the grain and everything shows up in it and you totally have the option of painting this to make it look like the iconic NASA rocket ship that orbits the earth and goes on amazing space adventures but really really cool I had a lot of fun making this and I know exactly who this project is going to it's going to go to my buddy down at the beach who works third shift at the hotel that me and the family like to go to when we go to Myrtle Beach through years of going down there and just talking to him early in the mornings when I take my coffee out to the lobby to see if he's working that day or not I've just found out through the years that he is a huge NASA fan he tracks the stars the locations of the ships when they go up and the satellites and all and he'll send me something sometimes on social media he'll be like hey it just went over your area did you get a picture of it or anything but really really cool I was happy to make this and happy to make it on film I think it came out great and once again a variety of ways to finish a project like this 
I enjoyed making it and I hope you guys like watching me make it. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. Links to all my social medias as well as ways to contact me will always be linked down in the description box below these videos. That's about all for this one and remember guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care and I'll see you guys real soon.